<laughs> so somebody told me today that they like my wife's artwork better than my artwork. Is like, is it going to be a problem? Uh, I don't think so. It goes to the same pot, you know. But I really love uh, my wife's artwork, and uh, I'm glad that she's able to show her artwork this year. Thank you. We would agree on it when we had this idea of doing it together. So we actually planned it in January that we would do do just this. So the, the concept of uh, having the duet or duel show is to showcase uh, two different views of a, of a common subject, two different styles. So we came up with this uh, project uh, more than a year ago and then it started with uh, this painting right here. Now, horse. did you paint them simultaneously? Yes. 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 We paint everything simultaneously. You do? So we painted them all during the art workshops that I conducted. Oh, yeah. at, uh, and we do it together. Oh. oh. I think uh, I think the idea came really when when there's a gallery who uh, who didn't necessarily choose his style. So I said, why don't I do my style and then. We can uh, maybe if people who don't like your style would like my style, and then so we thought, why don't we do ourselves together and show show them that we there's different styles for everything. Now, did you do you stop halfway and peek at each other's work? I, as a teacher, I, I try to critique her. He has her, to because I have to work. ask him like, how so do you I need shade some guidance. Uh, yes. yes, like where do I do the shading? Is this good? You know. How do I make it look like more a horse or something? So I need his guidance for that. But style-wise and strokes-wise, he doesn't tell me anything. Yep. Yeah. So with, with my students, I try to uh, bring out the best in the students' uh, painting style. So I, I don't impose my painting style. And yes. so if they want palette knives, then so be it. But because I'm the only one has a different oh. feel and yeah. a different. Yeah. But I'm the only one who does palette knives. <laughs> Everybody well, my does so this is so. done with a palette knife, not a brush. No, my yes. all my paintings are palette knives. Yeah, well, are there whereas, different uh, sizes? Mm -hmm. There are different Just sizes. Like so. Yes, there's two. Yeah, huge. so she has a whole, yeah, she has two sets of palette knives. Oh. Actually. Like almost like cooking special palette cooking knives. spatulas. I have oh. because, different shapes because and sizes. when I do commission works, like huge commission works, I have to use big. A palette knives. So now, do you have to be in the right frame of mind to paint? What happens if you have a, if you feel grouchy or just out of sorts by the day? Do you paint? Yes. We have to. We, yes. Because yeah. you have to be painting, and then when you get into it, it's almost like you forget the whole, the world. You get into your painting. I don't know about him, but that's how I am. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm the teacher for the workshop, so I have to be <laughs> yeah, the, You have to be on. Fan. You have to be <laughs> yes. on, don't you? Whether I like it or not. That's so. right, and that separates a professional from a, an exactly. amateur. Exactly, yes. Uh, but that's, um, that's wonderful. wonderful. Okay, yeah, next. Um, uh, how about this? Always love to make This one? He had an impressionist workshop. Yeah, it was an impressionism class. And, impressionism. Uh, so we both use palette knives on this one. Uh, so if you can look at my painting on the left side here, you can see the texture of the palette knives. Where hers is more prominent though with the way how she handles palette knives, yes. so, which is different yes. from my texture. And the uh, reason why it's different is because I always paint the base different. So when I start painting on it, you could see that there's under it, there's a different color tone. It's not? Yeah. Because I paint it all blue, for example, and then I paint on the thing. So it brings out a different color. So even though we paint the same subject, it's two different takes of the same subject. Absolutely. It is amazing what a frame can do. Yes. yes it actually is. The frame makes a big difference. They're lovely. I, I could not choose between this this subject. Now there's other subjects. I definitely. You could like probably choose the, the two of them. Then. <laughs>
And then I use brighter colors, if you can see, it's yes. always like the bright, I yes. like oranges, yellows. And on the other hand, I like earth tone colors, so I'm more yes. the brown, the oranges, and the, the sienna, and the, so darker colors, yeah. I should say. So we see things differently, like I see, if you give us a picture, I see the green color in it, he sees the brown on it, so yep. that's why I use a different color. And a three-dimensional round is very challenging. Yes. Yeah, that's where. That's why I need his help. It's when it comes to be the, the shading. That's when I need his help. Advice. Okay. So here, these are two two sets of uh, palette knife painting. Actually, they're both palette knife. All of this. All of this on palette knives. And as you can see, we have different strokes. The way we render. We render the paint. If you look at this, my strokes are usually horizontal, and his would come like vertical. Vertical and horizontal. And then mine would be like crazy, and then he would go horizontal, you know, fine, horizontal. Mine was like, you know. She, she does a lot of movement with her palette times. Yes. So. Yeah, it's like a dance. <laughs> yep. What? Do you play music while yes. you paint? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do play classical music. Classical or inspirational music. There is, um, there is music that helps you think. And helps yes. You. And I have, well, for me, I have to feel it. If I don't like it, I ruin my painting and then I start all over. But that's why it's it's very uh, like sketchy because I like it rugged and yes. like I don't want fine. Yes. And by the way, she broke. My I already broke plastic, two palette knives. <laughs> plastic palette knife. Two palette knives and so one, have to, we one have to metal get, one. We had to get her the metal ones this time. <laughs> so I broke one of them. Did you see so rough? I broke one of them. You broke one of them. I don't know about that. I think because she paints when she's feeling happy. Yes, yes. Actually, my paintings are it's chaotic because everything else in my life is so organized. But when I paint, I paint with chaos, and I like it because it's like, it's something I it's can release. It's a departure release. from my usual yes, self. Yes, it's out. That's a cliche. Out I'm, I'm always like, everything controlled is controlled, and, controlled and, controlled and uh, everything is like, you know, it's arranged. arranged. Yes. Well, yes. I like it like that. Yeah, this, this next set of panels are actually all palette knives too. Oh. Well, except... No, you is that brush. Knife? Well, that one is brush. Um, but you can see the difference in the texture. This one is palette knife. Yeah. Yes. Are you like, like, from like, my usual like smooth Like this texture. one, I painted this red originally, and then I thought it was so it was so nice. It was so like clean. So I like pushed everything up like, like this. So that's why I created that color because I messed it all up. Oh, it looks fabulous. So, mess is beautiful. Yes, yes it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful mess. mess. Yes. <laughs> now, can you, do you use palette knife and brush? Like he does. I, yeah, I use uh, brushes on that one. So, so either I use one uh, tool uh, solely, or either I use all brush or all palette knife. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. So even even my signature is about knife. Oh. Yeah. So are the palette knives made in the USA? Or are they? I've been many fine tools are made in Germany. Uh, the ones we have. Uh, yeah, yeah. The ones that she has, which is hopefully the sturdier ones. <laughs> I have big ones now, like really big ones. Yes. I even yes. use a cookie. Yes. I even Bring use a cookie. Here. Not cookie Chris. cutter, but a cookie. Bring the tripod. Oh, yeah. Spatula. spatula, yeah. For my Still big working? work, I use a, a big spatula. So on this panel, we have. Uh, these are all palette knives. That one is saved. I rendered that on brush, so uh, it's more refined. It's more classical, traditional. It's beautiful. Painting. I love it. And yeah, the colors are more uh, traditional or classical. So you can see a lot of texture in both of our paintings because we use palette knives. Yes. Actually, I like his palette knives painting. 
you know, the two your tulip has more texture than her tulip. Yeah, actually, yes. that's maybe the only I, one so far that. I actually cheated. <laughs> I added. I think He's I added. He's a cheater. Um, uh, the embossing <clears throat> thing. I added gesso to my paint so to make it to great texture in it. Yeah, because yeah, he did. And he didn't know how to use the palette knife. That's why it looks like this. But it's yeah, nice, I mean, right? I have, I have no patience with palette knives. Oh. That's that's for the record. Interesting. Okay, and this one. This one's palette knife. Okay, this one we were like doing streams, and mine looked like a desert. <laughs> like a desert. It was supposed to be a paradise, but mine came out like a desert. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to do it. So, anyway. yeah. so you see, it's more mine's texture because it's this brush, yeah. and I see, like I saw the street more like magenta. He saw it more like this. So it, we see things differently. We see things differently, and we interpret things differently. So. It's a that classic goes, husband and wife. Exactly. That yes. goes to show with yes. our, our, our life. Sorry. Exactly. We're exactly. doing an interview. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so this is the same. And you have, uh, Ella, you have no flowers on yours. No, because I tried and I didn't like it, so I messed this all up. This is all a mess. Well, because if, I you, put look, the red if you imagine there might be some you flowers You see the red? There. Because yes. I, I did the red and then I, I messed it all up like that. If she doesn't like it, she messes it up. <laughs> That's why it looks like that. Everything's messy. Everything's a mess. That's okay because you leave it to the imagination to yeah. think, uh -huh. oh, there might be yeah. some flowers there. Yes. 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 Oh, plenty of flowers in the next one. <laughs> and this one, yes. This is. This one, um, she wanted a lot of flowers. These is. are these are all palette knife. The top one is uh, that one's brush. The other one's palette knife. So. So Again, we have two interpretations of the same subject. This one was hard for me because I didn't know I could do a garden. This is my first garden. And then I was trying to do the steps. And the white one was supposed to be the step. But it came out that this is the step and this is the... I didn't know how to do it. And I stepped back and I saw it. I'm like, whoa, like this is a real surprise for me. How I did this whole thing. Is there a, a certain length of footage where, you, where to view painting is best? Yeah, I would step back a little bit, like few. Yeah, like um, five I would. I usually would suggest if you are painting, you every now and then you step back and look at your painting and see where you know where you could you could so change or improve on it. Which so. is maybe no, like that. You, and then you squint your eyes you so you can you see better. Like oh. I think flowers would be easier than steps. Steps, there's a lot of shading. No, I didn't yeah. know how I did that. Because you need depth. I, know. I have no idea how to do it. Really. Okay. No, this and is the birds are surprise. terrific. They're <laughs> parents. The parents are terrific. So these set of panels are, these are all palette knives. Um, yeah, both, all of them. And then this is special for us. And I think we, we painted this one. We didn't have any students for the day, so. Uh, with this one? Oh, this did. one we did. We did. Okay, so, yeah, so. We this have, one we did. It's just the two of us. So those are both palette knife. This palette one is special because we went to Chiquitere. And this is exactly what we saw Italian, there, uh, in Italy. And then, and then this is the one is that? Oh, now what kind of bird is that? Is that a heron? Blue heron. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is very so, challenging to find. Yes. I think that there is a lot of control in that. Yeah, there's yep. a lot of light. But it's lot still crazy colors the way I liked it is because I didn't want the basic brown. So I use red. So I always change the color in my head. Like what would be better than brown or and I would look for oranges and red. My, it's very hard. Animals are hard. Yeah. Well, like you plan to continue the challenge? Yes. Well, I don't Every, know about the challenge. Doing it together? This? I would love to. Yeah, the challenge would always be there uh, as long as you know we are. Because the thing is, we're students of art. We the challenge would always be there. 
but, but because always. also it's because different people like different styles. Yes. So some like his style and some like my style, so we can cover both styles. I think I think art is a journey where where you discover new challenges every time and so if you don't respond to those challenges you'll be you'll be a stagnant artist I think. So it, it's always good to have challenges and respond to those challenges accordingly. So it's never complete. Yes. <laughs> and we are always at work. Yes, so we have to do we are in progress. Yes. Work in progress, I should say. But there's have to, there has to be a point where you can stand back and say, this is good. Yes, yes. I, yes. We don't, I don't finish until I say, this is this good. Yes. You're, you're happy with it. Yes. Yes. yes, I have to be. Yeah. Or else I mess it up and then start over. So uh, it's really, the show is really the duet or duel show, so um, it's really up to the audience to, to decide whether it's a duet or duel. So it's not really up, for, up to us to, to decide on that. Me it's, it's a duet, for him it's a duel. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I, I don't consider that. Uh, I really, I, I, I said that because I wanted to create interest on the people who would see the paintings sure. and... Uh, it, it does create the question of whether it's a duet or is it a duo. So. You guys probably never argue, but it would be interesting to, after an argument, to both go to your easels and paint. Yeah. <laughs> I know, we haven't. By the time, maybe we'll be painting the same thing in the same style. <laughs> that was a good journey. It was really, it it really is a good is. journey. And, so uh, how long, are, when did you start? In January? Of Yes, 2015. Yes. Painting. Yes, because we painted every week. Yeah. But not January, late, late uh, last late year. Last late last year, and then uh, we continued on until. Oh, yeah, that one was late last year. Very good. Good so, well, thank you for Thank you for coming. Coming and attending the show and the reception. And, uh,